Hey guys, my name is Brady Bissett. I'm a cinematographer and DP, and today we're going over two different ways to shoot in the harshest of day lighting with just a diffuser and a bounce, AKA for just $40. So I wanna preface this by saying that midday lighting is known to have some of the harshest, brightest, and most unflattering lighting, and definitely known to cause raccoon eyes, show all imperfections in skin, and definitely squinty eyes. So if you can, before just shooting in harsh sunlight, Try to shoot in shade on a cloudy day or even at golden hour, which is known to have a lot softer, warmer, colorful light, casting great shadows and looking a lot better on your subject. But if you must shoot at midday, here are two ways to help you out. The sun is by far the strongest light source out there. So rather than fighting it with additional lighting, we're gonna use just bouncing and reflecting and that is it. Super easy, super DIY, so let's dive into things here. First, I know it's a composition sin to face your subject directly into the sun. But if you're over there like, well, Brady, what do I do if I absolutely need to have my subject facing the sun? Like I need that tree in the background because if I don't, for whatever the reason, here's the answer. You can diffuse the sun. So to do this, I made this scrim by myself for very cheap, hence the bending. But with scrims this size being upwards of five, $600, there's absolutely no shame in DIY and it works just about the same. By the way, for a video on that, leave a comment below and I'll show you how to make a DIY scrim for under $20. So I took this DIY scrim, put it on two different stands and I boosted those up and immediately it looks so much better. But before you do anything, before you let your hands go off of that, please, please, please sandbag it because these things are like sails and they're gonna fly away hurting all your gear or hurting somebody else more importantly. So you don't want that. And if you don't have any sandbags, use rocks. Hey, they don't look great, they're heavy, they hold it down. Rocks work great. So now that we've got that sandbagged or rock bagged and in place, this sun cutting through this layer of diffusion onto the subject's face is acting as your key light. So if we're talking direction, I've got the diffuser at about the subject's two o'clock relative to the camera. And I do that just to still get a little bit of side light, being able to wrap that around and leaving some of her face into the shadows. And to see a little bit more, of how and why I wrap light like that and shoot it from the side, check out this video above. So one more light that we can add is a reflector disc roughly 180 degrees away from the key light and that's going to act as the rim light or an edge light. In essence, like I've said before, rim lights separate the subject from the background and typically they're always kind of cross key or roughly 180 degrees from the key light kind of getting that separation diagonally. And I use the silver side of my five in one disc just to get a little bit more hard, strong reflection bouncing off of her. But if that's a little bit too harsh, edging her shoulder and edging her face, you can either one, dim the sun, or two, take that reflector and pull it away from the subject. That way that light's really gonna fall off by the time it reaches her. Or you can simply just switch it to the white side and it might still even bounce just enough light to edge the side of her face as well. Go ahead and flip back and forth and see which one really works best for you. But there you have it, a simple three point light setup. And for a second option, say you don't have a scrim like this or you can't put a diffuser or anything up on stands, let's go ahead and rotate your subject around. Now she's backlit and the sun is behind her. So now that rim light that we were talking about before hitting Sarah, the sun is already doing the job for us. So that's easy, the rim light is done, the rim light is taken care of. But now that she's turned around with the sun behind her, everything else is exposed correctly, but she is very much so in the shadows. So we're gonna have to punch some light back in there somehow. To make the key light, we're gonna look at the rim light and go about 180 degrees across that. So instead of being the back left shoulder, you're gonna be on the front right shoulder with the key light. And since we don't have a sun in front of us to cut the light through, we're gonna have to bounce light back on. So in this case, we're gonna be taking my five and one disc on the white side, and we're gonna bounce the sun off of that back to Sarah to fill in her face. I use the white side to be a soft bounce rather than the silver side because the silver would just be too bright and too harsh and 95% of the time, harsh lighting combined with faces are definitely a no bueno. So that's why I wanted that white side to have a really soft roll off of light and a really smooth, uh, pleasing complexion. And another tip, whether you've got the reflector on a stand or you've got an assistant holding it up, make sure that you've got the reflector placed high so when the sun coming off of it and then bouncing to your subject, it still remains coming from a high source and it still looks natural rather than bouncing from the ground and bouncing back up onto the face because no light would really be bouncing off the grass like that. And we wanna maintain that consistency and natural light direction. And let's go ahead and point out how you can really see a catch light in Sarah's eyes with lighting setups like this. 
Catch lights are great for getting that little twinkle, that glimmer in your eye to pull attention from the viewer straight to the eyes and maintain that eye contact. So let's go ahead and take a look at the before and afters of both of our shots. So there you have it. Two very, very simple DIY ways to light your subjects outside in harsh lights with no lights. Just simple diffusion and bouncing techniques that'll make your shots go a very, very long way. I really hope you enjoyed this and it works well for you on all of your projects. And there's the bell. Class dismissed.